Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Laka alhamdu ya Allahu wa shukuru sarmada. Hadaita ilayna al-imana min katafadula. Wa anzalta Qur'anan wa arsalta ahmada. Alayhi salatu allahi ma shukuruhu ala. Wa nadaitu Allahumma ya khayra sami'in. أعذنا من التسمية كولا ومفعلا ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي المؤمنين ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وعظيمنا وحبيبنا وقائدنا وقدوتنا وأسوتنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وسهب ورضي الله تعالى عن السادات التابعين والعلماء العاملين والأئمة الأربعة المجتهدين ومقلديهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. أما بعد، listeners as our able presenter said، إن شاء الله today we continue with our discussion on the issue of serious concern about Islam. If you could remember, last week we have discussed Ramadan or connection between Ramadan and supplication. And that one led us to another discussion about preconditions of supplication. Today we want to look at one of, one of the important activities of Ramadan, that is ethical. What is ethical? What are the types of ethical? And what are the conditions and requirements and rulings of itikaf. Itikaf is an Islamic practice consisting of a period of staying in a mosque for a certain number of days, devoting oneself to ibadah during these days and staying away from worldly affairs. This is the meaning of itikaf. But the literal meaning of the word suggests sticking and adhering to or being regular in something. This meaning is identical in Allah's statement. وَجَاوَزْنَا بِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْبَحْرَ فَأَتَوْ عَلَىٰ قَوْمٍ يَأَكُفُونَ عَلَىٰ أَسْنَامٍ لَهُمْ قالوا يا موسى اجعل لنا إلها كما لهم آلهة قال إنكم قوم تجهلون. We took the children of Israel with safety across the sea. 
they come upon a people devoted entirely to some idols. They had, and they said, O oh Moses, passion for us a God like unto the gods they have. He said, surely you are people of ignorance. In this verse, we can see the meaning of etikab is devotion. They came upon a people devoted entirely to some idols. Similarly, the Quran submitted that وَقَالُوا لَنْ نَبْرَحَ عَلَيْهِ آكِفِينَ حَتَّى يَرْجِعَ إِلَيْنَا مُوسَى They had said, we will not abandon this cult, but we will devote ourselves to it until Moses returns to us. You can see the same meaning. But we will devote ourselves and this is Quran chapter 20 verse 9 to 1 and if we look at the same chapter we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying قَالَ فَذْهَبْ فَإِنَّ لَكَ فِي الْحَيَاةِ أَن تَقُولَ لَا مِسَاسَ وَإِنَّ لَكَ مَوْئِدًا لَن تُخْلَفَ وَانْظُرْ إِلَى إِلَهِكَ الَّذِي وَلْتَ عَلَيْهِ آكِفًا لَنُحَرِّكَنَّهُ ثُمَّ لَنَنْسِفَنَّهُ فِي الْيَمِّ نَسْفًا Moses, or Musa عليه السلام, said, Get you, God. <clears throat> I mean, Allah said to Moses, Samari, get you, God, but your punishment in this life will be that you will say, touch me not. And moreover, for a future penalty, you had a promise that will not fail. Now look at the God of whom you had become a devoted worshiper. Which you become a devoted worshiper. We will certainly melt it in a blazing fire and scatter it. Broadcast in the sea. Quran chapter 19 verse 97. In the same meaning Allah said, Qalu na'abudu asnaman fanazallu biha akifi. They said, we worship idols and we remain constantly in attendance on them. Here we can see constant devotion is the meaning of um, itikaf. Now having looked at uh, literal meaning, it is now good to look at idiomatic meaning or technical meaning. In the technical usage, etikaf is intent of devoting oneself in a mosque with the intention of getting closer to God. Getting closer to God, the Almighty and Majestic. 
in a period of days, especially in the last 10 days of Ramadan. In a deeper act of worship, praying, supplicating, or reading the Quran or Hadith, or any other um, Islamic literature. Now, having understood the meaning, both literal and idiomatic meaning, it is good to look at the basic principle of Itika. The basic principle of Itikaf in the mosque is that it is confirmed sunnah. It is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And it is recommended at all times and in the last 10 days of Ramadan. It is emphasized in the following Quranic text. I mean, itikaf is emphasized in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa idh ja'alna al-bayta mathabatan lin-nasi wa amna wa attakhidhu min maqami Ibrahima musalla wa ahidna ila Ibrahima wa Ismaila an tahira baytiya lit-ta'ifina wal-akifina war-rukka is-sujud and remember that we met the house a place of assembly for men and a place of safety and to make you the station of Abraham as a place of prayer. And you, we covenanted, we covenanted with Abraham and Ismail that they should sanctify my house. For those who compass it round or use it as a retreat or how or bow or prostrate themselves, they are in, in prayer. Now we can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the Kaaba, the Bayt al Haram, the Masjid al Haram, a place of itikab. That he said to Ibrahim and his son Ismail or Ismail, that purify my house, sanctify it for those who compass it round or use it as a retreat. Now, itikaf can be seen as retreat, a devotional retreat. It is very important for a Muslim once in a life or more to be in a retreat, a spiritual retreat, a devotional retreat that will permit you to reconsider your relationship with Allah. And the Quran reads, Uhilla lakum laylata siyami rafathu ila nisaikum Hunna libasun lakum wa antum libasun lahunna alima Allahu annakum kuntum taktanuna anfusakum fataba alaykum wa afa ankum falana bashiru hunna wabtagu ma kataba Allahu lakum wa kulu washrabu hatta yatabayyana lakum al-khaytu labyadu min al-khayt ila suwadi min al-fajr 
ثم أتم الصيام إلى الليل ولا تباشروهن وأنتم آكفون في المساجد تلك حدود الله فلا تقربوها كذلك يبين الله آياته للناس لأنهم يتقون Meaning, permitted to you on the night of the fast is the approach to your wives. They are your garments and you are their garments. Allah knows that you use to secretly among yourselves. You used to do, Allah knows what you used to do secretly among yourselves. But he turned to you and forgave you. So now associate with them and seek what Allah had ordained for you and eat and drink until the, the white thread of down appear to you, distinct from its black thread then complete your fast till the night appears but do not associate with your wives while you are in retreat in the moxies those are limits said by allah approach not night treto those that uh, Thus, does Allah make clear his signs to men that they may learn self-restraint? Following the example of the messenger of God, peace and blessings be upon him, is part of the eight cup. So you can see, according to this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, permitted us to associate with our wives but not during itikab. This shows that there, is, there are conditions and rulings for itikab. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, but do not associate with your wives while you are in retreat. So it is a retreat. It's a devotional retreat, spiritual retreat, where a Muslim stays in a mosque to associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the types of itikaf? Itikaf is two types. There is an obligatory itikaf and there is itikaf which is not obligatory, which is not wajib but recommendable. Itikab initially is not obligatory. It's recommendable. It is a recommendable act to go for devotion in a mosque for a period of time. But you are the one to make it obligation. If you make a bow, a promise that you are going to do it calf of three days, for example, four days, ten days, that promise you made between you and Allah is called Nazaru. And that Nazaru made that thing to be wajib, to be obligatory upon you. 
Therefore, you must fulfill that promise by staying in those days in the mosque. Now, what are the conditions of Etika? There are some preconditions. First, it must be in a mosque. Etikab must be in a mosque. But scholars differ in restricting some mosques. But the, the school, of, the, the Maliki school of thought, agreed that you can enter into Etikaf in any mosque, in as much is, uh, in as much as it is a mosque. You can enter Etikaf in it, in as much as it is a mosque no matter how small, small or big. But if the days of Etikab include Friday, the Etikab must be in Masjidul Jami. That's a central mosque, a Friday mosque. But some scholars restricted the most to be only in three moxies in the world. The Masjid al Haram in Mecca, the Masjid al Nabi in Medina, and Al Masjid al Aqsa in Jerusalem. Now, what are the permissible things to do in Etika? It is permissible for a Mu'takif to do vital or basic life activities, basic life activities activities, things that are very, very important for life, that things that can, life cannot do without them, eating, bathing, convenience, that is easing yourself. Those things can be done in the, within the mosque or outside the mosque's premises. But anything worldly should not be done. You cannot engage into commerce, office activities, even via internet or phone calls. What are the activities of Etika? What and what are we supposed to be doing while in Etika? The activities of Etika are devotional activities. Anything worship can be done in Etika. Prayers, Reading from the Quran. Reading from the Quran. Um, Salatun Nabi. Any reading or recitation any important thing that has connection with devotion and worship 
is permissible to be done in itikab. Now, what is the benefit of itikab, especially in our contemporary life? We have numerous problems in our life today, especially as Nigerians. We have numerous challenges and problems, collectively and individually. The benefit of Etika is to be alone with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a retreat in devotional and spiritual retreat so that you will reconnect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him to forgive you so that you can change activities and now be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you ask him and he answer you. Here we can see the benefit is when a lot of people enter into it in a community or in a society or in a nation like ours, Nigeria, if they will uh, attempt to invite intervention from the Almighty, then we are going to have a solution, inshallah, to our problems. So I appeal to brothers and sisters in Islam to attempt to enter eight calf for one day, two days, three days or ten days in with the intention of searching for solution to our individual and collective problems. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May Allah bless Nigeria. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us through all our challenges. It is time for us to take a short break. And when we come back, inshallah, we shall be interacting with you. Don't go away. Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, the program is Friday Salmon. And the topic of discussion today is Etika. You can call in now to ask questions, make some suggestions, or even some criticisms. The numbers are 0802-600-7418. I repeat, 0802-600-7418. 418 or 0806-396-3643. The topic of discussion is ETCAF and we have seen what is ETCAF and we have mentioned the benefit of ETCAF. Okay, someone is there now. Alaykum as -salam. Uh, My name is Abdul Salam Muhammad. Abdul Salam Muhammad, where are you calling uh, from? I'm calling from Wusetu here. Wusetu. How are you doing there? Alhamdulillah, and I'm working here. Good. What is your contribution this I'm very, afternoon? I'm very happy to hear your voice today. Happy Ramadan. 
Thank you. Happy Ramadan to you. May God guide us and protect us. I mean, thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate your effort. Thank you very much. I appreciate you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ma salama. The numbers are 0802-600-7418 or 0806-396-3643. And the topic of discussion this afternoon is Etika. Okay, someone is there. Now, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Al Mustafa from Maraba. Al Mustafa from Madara, uh, Maraba. How are you doing there? What is your contribution? So I'm very, very happy. I hear your voice. I just called you to go ahead and see the Ramadan. I mean, thank you, Mustafa, for praying for us. Mustafa, Mustafa thank you very much. From Maraba. From Maraba. Very, very appreciated. Okay, so thank you. I mean, thank you very much. I appreciate you too, Mala Mustafa. The program is Friday Sermon, and the topic of discussion this afternoon is Friday Sermon. I mean, it's itikaf. Now, hello? Hello? Hello, how are you doing? Salam alaikum. Good afternoon, sir. Alaikum salam. I hope I'm on to Zara. Uh, my name is Zara, so I'm calling you for my tema. Okay, Zara, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Uh, Long time. Longest time. What is uh, your contribution Ramadan today? Karim, sir. Ramadan Karim. I just got to appreciate you, and I want to tell you I love your Simon so much. I learned a lot from you. Thank you very much, Zara. Thank you. I yes, appreciate sir. you Thank for you appreciating so my so son. Thank you very much. Yes. I am proud of all of you. Thank you. I'm proud of all of you. I love all of you, and I pray for uh, uh, all of you. May the Almighty bless all of us. Are you here? I, I, I include myself here. May, may the Almighty love, I mean, help all of us. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll uh, take one more quest, um, call, inshallah, and then forget the topic of discussion is ETCAP. And we want a lot of people to go for ETCAP in Nigeria this year because we want people to pray for Nigeria. Nigeria is in, is in their need of your prayers because things need to be corrected, but who will correct them? The Almighty will help us, use us, all of us as citizens to correct our attitudes modify our way of doing things and reform ourselves to at least revive the value of ourselves, our country, our families, everything. I think we are going to stop here and Okay, let me take the last call. The second segment of the program is going to be uh, brought to you by Malam Ilyas, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.